hello guys now we are going to see about the machine learning we know that machine learning is the hot topic nowadays al reaches everywhere every industries and every um, business nowadays if from the healthcare to uh, army the ai is occupied everywhere so now we'll see about the machine learning machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence that gives computer that ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. Instead, ML algorithm learn from the data and improve their performance over time. So machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. If you take artificial intelligence, it's a development of small system and machine that carried out tasks that typically require human intelligence here machine learning create an algorithm that learn the data and make decision based on the pattern require human inter inter intervention okay inside that machine learning the deep learning this is involved in every places this is used in artificial neural net network to reach, reach accurate conclusion without human intervention so the machine learning is split into three types supervised machine learning unsupervised machine learning and reinforcement learning if we take supervised machine learning the computer is given a set of label data the label tell the computer what the correct output should be for the given input the computer then learn to map input to output based on the label data the machine learning we say this is a supervised machine learning model train with label data this supervised machine learning split into classification and regression class then another type is unsupervised machine learning unsupervised machine learning the computer is not given any label data the computer must learn to find pattern in data on its own because uh, this is not the structural data we cannot give the label same like supervised learning we cannot give the label in the unsupervised learning this find itself that is this type of learning is often used for tasks such as clustering and dimensional reduction so it have the clustering options this is the type belongs to clustering it take the data based on the cluster group of in the group of field which the where the output belongs to, to this result will come as a output then next one is reinforcement learning in the reinforcement learning, the computer is given a reward signal for taking action that lead to desired outcomes. The computer then learn to take action that maximize the reward signal. This type of learning often used for tasks such as playing games and controlling robots. Yes, we see the now type of machine learning then we know this classification we have the regression regression is a continuous value if you give a, if you send any input list of input it give the result as a output it, it will give the continuous output so it's called the regression the classification like it will give um positive or negative if it's binary classification it will bring the two values yes or no if it's multi classification it will bring the category result as four five result based on this it will give the we can classify it in the multi classification clustering as i uh, as i said it is a group of the the data will be arranged in the group base the result will be based on the group now next we will see about the overfitting 
here we have been the based on the data once you create the model it will give the result as overfitting why is overfitting means maybe it's possible low data or splitter uh, very mm, too much with more tuning if it comes under fitting also is a problem the we cannot get good prediction if it's get over predict over fitting also the problem we cannot get the give correct it must be in the balanced state so in machine learning overfitting is a situation in which a model learns from the training data too well and does not generalize well to new data it will work in the training data when the test of the training data it will work fine but if you go to the new data it will not give the proper result so the uh, the problem is too much complexity if the model is too much complexity it may able to memorize the training data perfectly but it will not be able to generalize well to new data if you don't have the ni data also it will be overfitting if you pass irrelevant features it will also make the issue says overfitting so overfitting can be prevent by the more techniques like regularization data splitting feature selection regularization is a technique that penalize the model of being too complex this can help to prevent the model from memorizing the training data perfectly and another thing is data splitting data splitting is a technique that divides the data training data into two sets training data and validation data the model is trained on the training data set then evaluate on the validation set this helps to ensure that the model is not overfitting to the training data future selection future selection is a technique that remove irrelevant future from the training data this can helps to prevent the model from learning to fit the noise instead of underlying pattern so these are the factors help to avoid overfitting we see no data fitting and future engineering if we take here future engineering and machine learning we have the list of data here before we pass the data to create the model we need to do the future engineering list of data here some of the data values are null value so we need to uh, here the data is missing we need to fill the data with uh, if it's a uh, uh, integer value we create the mean and medium based on this values we will fill here if it's categorical value we'll uh, add the maximized value then we cannot pass the category as string then we will convert into the uh, integer we convert the categorical values into integer based on the on hot encoding so the data will be splitted and uh, make as a integer format then it will go here for training so the in the future engineering we need to encoding then uh, we need to format the data then we need to remove the duplicate uh, entry these are need things need to check in the future engineering using python so after that here how we create the model we were see the type of uh, uh, machine learning uh, what is the machine learning and the type of machine learning supervised machine learning unsupervised machine learning reinforced machine learning this this other type but how we create the model machine learning model here we will see Let's see here before going to create the model we will create the we will do the future engineering based on the data set we have we will remove on data data make the data clean and as a integer format then we will send the raw data this processing in this process data this will happen we will create a process the data then we will training the data we will uh, as we said before we will split training data and um, evaluation data validation data here 
testing data okay uh, is validation testing data so any data will create the model then we will test with the testing data once create the model it will go to the uh, it will create the more trained model then we will check with real time prediction then we will check with the batch prediction if the prediction is not good or it may be the overfit based on this condition it will again go back and try uh, change the future change the we, now we get something this three column as a few future um featuring column means if it's that model the model will not be um good in prediction we will change the uh, future values and create the model again then we will use for the prediction if when you're going to our training the module we will use the hyper parameter tuning for better result as good model when we when we create the when we train the model we will set the um, better uh, epoch will send the uh, good hyper training it will give the good model for prediction so in machine learning hyper parameter are parameter that are set before the training process begin okay there are different from model parameter hyper parameter can affect the performance of the model so it is important to choose them carefully common hyper parameters are the learning rate the learning rate is how quickly the model will learn a high learning rate will cause the model to learn quickly but it may also cause the model to overfit the low learning rate will cause the model to learn slowly but it may be less likely to overfit okay we need to think uh, and set the learning rate correctly then number of epochs number of epochs is the number of time the model will be trained on the data the higher number of epochs will cause us model to learn more but it may cause the model to overfit so the epochs is the iteration so we need to set the iteration as epochs correctly if you do more epochs may be possible to give overfit epochs is also the involved in the hyper tuning hyper parameter tuning the batch is batch is the number of data points that will be used to train the model at a time large beta uh, batch size will cause the model to train more efficiently but it may cause us model to less accurate the regularization strength regularization is the technique that penalizes the model for being too complex this can help to prevent the model from over over uh, overfitting so must be data must be complex must be more we need to reduce the um, we set the hyper parameter correctly uh, we need to reduce the um, too much uh, too much uh, training um, to make a model these are all the factors help to avoid overfitting and give the model to get the good pre uh, prediction so these are the things we need to things when we create the model for the prediction so uh, we see now what in the machine learning a type of machine learning and what is the future engineering uh, how to overcome this overfitting based on the um, hyper tuning and future engineering and the the term used in the hyper, uh, hyper parameter tuning then what happening data preparation and model training and operation this is the uh, this is the machine learning commonly we are used uh, used in creating any system in google we have pre-trained machine learning and model tra mo new model creation and transfer learning if you take a pre-trained model uh, machine learning is like a vision api and this la um, language api the translation text to speech speech to text these are the pre-trained machine learning 
uh, APIs so that uh, Google itself train the model and uh, and give us a API we can get the solution very easily one more auto ML did they have the model we will set some uh, f uh, future and training data set then we can transfer some knowledge based on that we can create the uh, um, system is for prediction and one more the vertex AI and Google um, AI is used to create the model from the scratch to uh, deployment from the model uh, data set collection the future engineering same like this data preparation model training and create the model for prediction so I hope uh, I, I give some information regarding the machine learning yeah right thank you